Wine Enterprise empowers users with self-service BI to quickly find important insights within the data and make impactful business decisions. In this video, we will learn how to monitor data in a dashboard using Wine Alerts. Given the pace of daily tasks, business users are not able to watch the dashboard insights continuously. As a result, business situations demanding quick resolutions often go unnoticed or have delayed actions. To help businesses track and notify teams about such situations, Wine Enterprise provides data monitoring capabilities using Wine Alerts. Let's get started and learn how to set up data monitoring for a dashboard in Wine Enterprise. First, make sure the necessary admin side configurations are already made. This includes notification channel configuration and permission management. Once done, open the dashboard and select the measure you want to monitor. In this video, we'll monitor the temperature of various energy sources in a production plant. This type of monitoring would be very useful for a plant manager as they need to be diligent that temperatures do not rise beyond a certain threshold. In a situation of sudden temperature rise, immediate action must be taken. To add an alert and monitor temperature, preview the dashboard and then select the metric plot for the plant and the energy source you want to monitor the temperature of. Next, right-click to open the context menu. If the data monitoring option appears disabled, go to the dashboard designer and set the click action property of the chart to none. Then select the add data monitoring option to open the dialog. In the dialog, you will find three configurations you must set to monitor your data. Basic information, notifications, execution plan. In the basic information tab of the dialog, provide the basic monitoring information like name and description. Also provide the condition and threshold to trigger an alert. Next, go to the notification tab and select the channel where you want to get the notification. The supported channels are email, Slack, and Microsoft Teams. Set the message content you would like to receive in the notification. You can add a variable using the Variables button on the top right to add a field in the content and get the dynamic dashboard data or metric in the notification message. Finally, define the schedule to execute the alert. Monitoring temperature is a continuous process, so we choose to notify on all days and every 15 minutes. Click OK to save the alert. You can manage and check the status of the alert on the data monitoring page. Use the hamburger icon to edit, enable, disable, or delete the alarm. Open the info panel to check the last alarm status or the error that may have occurred. The status on the list page indicates whether the message has been sent successfully. And the alarm status indicates whether an alarm has been triggered or not. A red alarm indicates threshold is triggered and an alarm is required. A white indicates the metric value is acceptable and needs no alarm. When an alert executes, a message is sent to the configured channel and the statuses are updated on the list. Thanks for watching. For more tutorials, visit the video library. And for more information, check out our documentation.